metamorphosis. The public primary schools in Cross River State now wears a new look. The first lift is a result of the joint venture between the federal and the state government. For the Ben Ayade-led government, the need to provide ultra-modern learning environment is one of its key objectives. You know, we have been able to execute about 327 projects across the state within these two years. And out of the 327 projects so far awarded, I think the director of physical planning is here. We have been able to release certificate of completion to over 100 and 182 contractors. In times like this, appreciation comes with more demands, just as the head teacher of this school appeals to the state government to settle promotion arrears of teachers in the state. Uh, they are in the area of promotion, because they have not released our promotion yet, though they are trying with the salary payment, but at least we need that promotion to spur up, to sit up. Though even without that, teachers are working, but at least if he comes, he adds more grease to our elbow. In a swift reaction, the superb chief promised that the demands of the teachers would be addressed in the shortest possible time. We are working tirelessly to see that we, we release our promotion. Teachers, are, the backlog of promotion from 2009 to 2016, we have conducted interview for that. And the financial benefit is going to be about uh, 100 and. Uh, 71 million and on the basis of that we have written to the governor to release money so that uh, we can make our teachers happy the way he has been making teachers to be happy across the state with the cross river state government demonstrating commitment to move basic education to the next level it's also keeping a watch on its contractors to avoid unnecessary delays in its project delivery